Alright, all you late night drivers currently running your mail delivery shifts or any other late night delivery thing we know of, welcome back to the Tuesday Night Special. And apparently during the break, folks, we had to take a polka break thanks to Dan the Weatherman Stu after it took him about a good 15 minutes to fix the whole side railing and the fire escape. And he added a whole bunch of disco lights on the inside of it, and I hope my dad doesn't notice, but unless he goes into the backyard and a light happens to shine on it, he won't be able to see it. I hope. I really hope. Because I don't think he's gonna like it. Well, besides that, folks, I think it's time for us to go into one of my favorite parts of the show. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, none other than the Indie Report, which is me giving you guys two news stories followed up by local concert information from local artists performing in a local area live near you. And in our first news story, which is video game news, for you Final Fantasy VII Remake fans out there hoping to get your hands on this anthology game, unfortunately you'll have to wait a full month and seven days for this game to be released. Because apparently now the release date goes from March 3rd all the way until April 10th for this game. And the reason why in the world they're delaying it they would say the following. <laughs> we are making this tough decision in order to give ourselves a few extra weeks to apply final polish to the game and deliver you with the best possible experience. And in my opinion, take as much time as you need. Because, you know, when it comes to games like this and seeing the fact that I'm new to the Final Fantasy series, and I think I can't say I'm new since I played, what, three, maybe four games in the Final Fantasy series thus far. I got a feeling people are really going to appreciate the fact that you gave it an extra month to try to get, you know, it looking as good as possible for those true Final Fantasy fans, especially for probably one of the most loved games of the series. And if any of you guys and gals out there want to figure out how many parts this game has in its episodic series mode, or want to check out some cool screenshots and whatnots from the game itself, you can head on over to their website entitled SquareEnixGames.com to check it out for yourself. And in other news, or more or less up up down down news, for you Battle of the Brands fans out there hoping for Season 2 to come out soon, the wait is almost over. Because it's been announced as of this week that the Battle of the Brands will be making its way to Up Up Down Down as of this Thursday afternoon. Or more or less Thursday morning knowing Austin Creed's uploading schedule. And they will still be playing the game of SmackDown vs. Raw 2006 with Tyler Breeze actually getting an advantage on this said, hmm, I think he gets an advantage on the draft picks, but I do believe that Austin Creed won a chance to get another draft pick by winning the main event of WrestleMania. Could be wrong with that. But either way, folks, it should be an exciting experience for this year's Battle of the Brands, and I can't wait to see what sort of guest stars and wrestlers will be involved for the Battle of the Brands for this year. And if you guys want to check out last year's Battle of the Brands and the punishment that went along with it for the losing person who lost, then I recommend you head on over to the YouTube page of one man only known as up, up, down, down to check it out for yourselves. And with that said, folks, we now make our way into the concert information for this week, and we kick things off with Wednesday, January 15th, and we start off with Russell Norkovic, who's going to be performing at the Ryland Inn in Reddington Township, New Jersey. At 5 p.m., you also have Kevin McGrowen, who's going to be performing at the Haley's Harp and Pub in Metuchen, New Jersey. At 7 p.m., Richie Chi One Man Band is going to be performing at the Cucina Caledandra, or Caledrana? 
you know what, we'll go with the second one in Fairfield, New Jersey at 7 p.m. And to finally wrap it up for Wednesday night, you can see Delphini, who's going to be performing at the Pino's Give Basket Shop Wine Cellar and Lounge in Highland Park, New Jersey at 8 p.m. I wonder if they can fit that whole name title above the store, or did they have to wrap it around the other side? Probably had to. <laughs> but besides their building designs, folks, the next bands we have up for Thursday, January 16th, you can see them perform live in a local area live near you. Annie Missanaro and Chris Palmieri is going to be performing at your place in North Arlington, New Jersey at 6 p.m. The Rashkins is going to be performing at Dingbats in Clifton, New Jersey at 7 p.m. Jeff Gunther and the Coots is going to be performing at the Cheers Bar and Restaurant in Hackensack, New Jersey at 7 p.m. Oh, if they're performing at Cheers, please tell me they're gonna perform the Cheers theme song where everybody knows your name. Man, I would love to see that song performed live too. But before I daydream about that cool theme song from a classic show from yesteryear, the next band we have up is Richie G One Man Band, who's gonna be performing at the Veerland Store in West Milford, New Jersey. At 8 p.m., DJ Remixer JRS is going to be performing at the 46 Lounge in Towata, New Jersey. At 8 p.m., and to finally wrap it up for Thursday night, you can see the I-287 Classic Rock Duo, who's going to be performing at the Canal House in Wharton, New Jersey, at 8 p.m. And for Tuesday for next week, which is the 21st, Blackjack for you Blackjack players out there, you can see these following bands performing in a local area near you, live. And the first band that we have up, which has no name, no picture, or no title, is going to be performing at the Tribe Lounge in East Orange, New Jersey at 7 p.m., so, it's a mystery band that's going to be performing there. So, if you show up, you'll know who they are. And besides that mystery band with a plan, the last but not least band we have up for Tuesday for next week and all the bands we're going to mention for this week is none other than DJ Remixer JRS, who's going to be performing at the Lit 21 in Newark, New Jersey at 8 p.m. And if you guys want to check out the complete list of bands that we couldn't list during this very broadcast, and trust me folks, there were a lot of them, you can head on over to ReverbNation.com to check out the complete list of bands that we couldn't list during this very broadcast. And like I say at the end of all of these skits, go out there, support your local artists, and see these guys before live. And trust me, they'll love you for it. And I guess with that said, we might as well head back into this music one more time. And when we return, we'll be back with the final segment for the Tuesday night special for this week, right after this. So don't fall asleep just yet, folks, and stay tuned. 